in Romans 10, verse 13, it says, For whoever will call upon the name of the Lord will be saved. In verse 14, it says, How then shall they call upon him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him who they have not heard? And how should they hear without a preacher? And how should they preach unless they are sent? Well, the good Lord has sent somebody to share the word of God with you. And his name's Rocky Stewart. Can we come on up here, Rocky? we come before you and Lord thank you for this day. Lord God we thank you for your word that we can stand upon your word Lord God and your promises. So Lord God we just thank you for your presence and your spirit here today Lord God that, that you can move in a powerful way Lord God. The bondages would be broken. People be set free and healed Lord God as you have called us to proclaim liberty to the captives Lord God to bind up though broken hearted and set captives free. Lord God, we just thank you for, again for your presence here today. And Lord, we give this service unto you. We ask that you would lead it, Lord, and that you would speak through me. I empty myself of self that you would be magnified. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 <laughs> I thank you for inviting me here again this morning. And I believe that since it is, has been a little bit of time, then, then with your guys' permission, then I would like to be obedient to the Lord and reacquaint you with my testimony this morning. Would that be okay? Yeah. All right. All right. You know, I just, I bless God and, and driving here into band on such a beautiful day. And, and. You know, there, there one thing that I notice about this town and stuff is thank God that, you know, there's, there's a few traffic lights right here in the beginning of town, but out and about it's nice and peaceful, and, and you can cruise, and there ain't a whole lot of traffic lights. That is a blessing, you know, and, and I think that by the end of today, however, then at least for myself, I never look at traffic lights exactly the same way again. And I challenge each of you today that perhaps you may not either. Because as, as I have shared with you before, then for me and my life, in retrospect, as hindsight is 2020, then I realized that things have happened in my life were all traffic lights. You know, the, the road I was on, to, to coin a phrase from an old band that... that Many of you will know who they are, many of you don't. And, 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 forgive me, Lord, but ACDC has the song, Highway to Hell. That's, that's where I was living on, but bless God, he put traffic lights yes. on that highway to hell. Amen. He, he thank God that we were dead in our transgressions. He died for us. Amen. Right. Amen. Now, Ephesians, Ephesians 2.13 says, But now... Christ Jesus, you who formerly were far off have been brought near by the blood of Christ. Amen? Amen. Well, in my mind, those of you who are far off, has, has you ever heard the term, man, that dude is out there, you know? And, and well, for me, and, and, and biblically speaking, to be out there is, is to be out there away from the presence of the Lord or our knowledge of of his presence because as we had said why we were dead in our transgressions he died for us so you know what being out there is going through your life in such a way that you have no mindful thoughts of our Lord you, you are going out there and one thing in, in my younger days and stuff is, is I used to often quote I make my own destiny you know well yeah, in, in, in a manner of speaking, we do, because our Lord has blessed us with the freedom of choice, yeah. you know. But bless God that if we follow Him, 
You know, I, I've come to learn that with sin, it always takes you where you don't want to go. It costs you more than you ever want to pay, and you stay longer than you ever wanted to be there. But with the Lord Jesus Christ, when, when you follow Him, you know what? He takes you where you never thought. You go far beyond your wildest dream, and you know what? He picks up the tab. He pays the way, amen, because He's paid the price. So, you know, going on through my younger life and stuff, out there. As far as being out there was just that. Going through my life thinking, okay, I make my own destiny. I'm not hurting no one else. I'm doing my own thing, you know, and, and I, I'm not going to go into much detail this morning and stuff as, as to exactly what I was doing. I got... Um, I, I had my episodes with drugs and alcohol and that kind of stuff. Began through this time. And in all honesty, no matter what I tried, whether it was alcohol, whether it was drugs and different stuff like that, there was still something in here. There was something missing in here. I could not fill, no matter how much alcohol, um, you name it, whatever I could get my hands on to try to fill that hole, I could not fill that hole. Because what I didn't know, and as I heard someone else say one time, God created us with a God-shaped hole. And God is the only thing that will fill that hole. Amen? Amen. You know, and, and so in that lifestyle, and, and, you know, doing drugs and alcohol and that kind of stuff, and as a youngster, and, and again, not going too much into detail, but by the time that I was 18, then... We had a ranch that was the only structure that was built along the Mexican-American border. And it's the only structure from the all the way to El Centro. As a matter of fact, our old ranch used to kind of, it was actually in like no man's land. And sometimes it would be considered America and sometimes it would be considered in Mexico. Because it's actually on the border line. Well, we had trees, so it was a place to smoke. So that's what we were doing. Now, at the time, you know, our whole family and stuff had come for a barbecue, and the Mexicans at that time wanted me to smuggle heroin across the border. I would not do that because, to be honest, smuggling marijuana and stuff across the border gave me a lot of personal and money, you know. And so I, in my mindset, you know, it, 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 as long as I stayed away from chemicals and all that stuff. Well... Because I wouldn't bring heroin across, then they showed up in the daytime and started throwing pot over our border fence. Well, when they did that, I looked and I could see this cloud of dust coming up over the hill, and it was the DEA and NTF were heading over the hill to swoop us. So, you know, I go to run across the border into Mexico, and you can see all the federales coming up that way. Um, there again, they surrounded our whole house, and ended up arresting all of us, my whole family. And, you know, especially mom. I mean, she didn't have that coming. She didn't know and none of that, you know. And, and at that time, my oldest brother, they figured, the FBI, the federales and stuff, they figured, well, my oldest brother must be the kingpin that took this whole thing together. So the whole time, they're trying to pin... The, this smuggling charge on my oldest brother. Well, through all the court dates and that kind of stuff, then my oldest brother did end up taking that rap, riding that beef so that the rest of us could be released. Now, you know, some of you are sitting there right now and going, that sounds kind of familiar. Well, you know, uh, I guess I'm kind of thick-headed because when my brother served the sentence for the rest of us, what a perfect picture of what Jesus Christ did for each of us. And, and I did not see it at that time. To kind of bring that part home for you guys, you know, some of you may be sitting there thinking, what, I still kind of missed it. What's the nuts and bolts of that, preacher? Well, it, it's like this. Let's say that you're driving here through Bandon, you're on your way to work in the morning, whatever. You got Caleb on, you're worshiping the Lord. You're kind of in your zone. You're not even late for work. And you're driving along, and, and all of a sudden you look in your rear view, and you see red and blue bubblies in your rear view.